What's up everybody, DK Web Design Studio here, back again for another exciting tutorial video. I'm excited today because we're gonna be working on something that's super important that you learn how to master and actually just get good with, and that's customizing the Wix menu. So without further ado, I'm gonna jump right into this, and uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll answer, to you, answer you guys as quickly as possible. So let's start off with the simple process of adding a menu. So I'm here inside of my Wix website, and I've clicked the plus icon on the left menu side, navigating down to where it says menu. Now, if you're starting from scratch, this is essential. If you're starting with a Wix template, you probably already have a menu in it, in which case delete it or customize it up to you. I'm gonna start from scratch so you guys can see exactly the process of what I do to create the menu and customize it the way that I want. So Wix conveniently has a number of sections in the add menu uh, menu bar. And these presets span from horizontal menu types to vertical menu types, all the way to themed menus, which if you're starting with a themed website or a predefined template, you probably have a color scheme already defined for the site, or you wanna define a color scheme and and just save some time in formatting, well, that's what those themed menus are for. Uh, in our case, we're gonna start off with a horizontal menu and just customize it at will, however we want, so we can achieve the effect that we want for our website. Now, if you see here, Wix has already given you a preview of what each of these presets look like uh, and how they're gonna respond when the user hovers over them. So for instance, this first one, we know that it's gonna be a pretty plain text. There's no border or anything outlining that text, except when you hover over it or you click on a specific web page, it's going to look as shown here. Same with the text. When you click or hover, it's gonna change colors on the second one. On the third one, you see the box and border around it. The border will fill when you hover or click. You have this uh, odd line, which is strangely popular in a lot of websites. I've used it in a couple, but again, not my favorite. Uh, then you have this bubble thing that hover, it emboldens the text. When you click it, it has it text in bold. So there's a lot of different ways that we can approach this question of design. For my website here, let's say I want to have white text and that white text would change contrast, maybe get a little bit darker when I hover over it, or vice versa, it maybe gets a little bit lighter and it's a little bit off white to begin with. So let's say that's the approach I want. Well, the first thing I could do, I can pick this themed one or I can pick a plain text version here. Now, right off the bat, I'm gonna click, drag and drop that menu to the page and notice a couple things. Number one, the font's a little bit odd. Number two, the color scheme is nothing that I want. And number three, I need to position it properly. So first, first off, as you can see, I have a black header, uh, and that black header is gonna be problematic for black text. So I click, drag, and drop my menu up to the top. That way it's gonna appear on every single page. Because it's in the header section, the header section is common to every site page that I have in my website. So I'm gonna click the design button and we're gonna click customize design. Now in customize design you have three options, regular, hover, and clicked. As you can see, regular is basic, no action, what it's gonna look like. I want this to be white or off white. So I'm gonna pick my looks like pretty much white color here. And I'm actually gonna change that color. We're gonna add a color and just get a little bit darker than white and click add. So I think here's my new color. We'll close out of that. Um, notice how now I can actually see my menu. So that's a big step forward. The next thing I wanna do is change the font. So I'm gonna click on down here in regular, text, we've changed the color, 
we're not going to worry about the theme right now and we're going to go ahead and customize the font. So one thing that's important is whatever font that you choose for your menu, make sure it's consistent throughout your site. You don't want to have all different types of fonts. You might could have two or three different fonts for your website. Maybe the headers are a certain font and the text body is a different font, but try to keep it to two or three. If you start getting to five, six, seven, or you're just kind of going in any direction with your font, it loses consistency, it loses that polished and together look that you were going for when you build a website. So let's say Avenir is the font of my website. So I'm gonna pick Avenir Light, and maybe I wanna make it bold. Um, maybe we wanna customize the font size a little bit, make it around 17, 16, 17. Uh, you don't wanna make the font menu size too small or too large. Too large tends to look a little bit unprofessional, and too small, likewise, people can't see it. All right, so we've now that we've customized the base color of the menu, Let's go and change the hover effect. So remember we talked about either having it white and then go a little bit darker or vice versa, dark and going a little bit lighter. In this case, I created a custom color and I added that as the default color to the menu. So when I click and I hover, I wanna get lighter. So I'm gonna pick this white color, close out of that and we're done. Now clicked, we want to be careful here because if you leave clicked, the default, it's green. We want the clicked to be the same as the hover. That's just typically speaking, you don't want to have a random color it changed to afterwards. You might could do a different shade of the color uh, that you've selected, but I wouldn't go to a whole different color wheel or color palette, palette on that. All right. So now that we're done, we can go ahead and preview what it looks like so far and make sure we have the effect that we want. So it is getting a little bit lighter. It's a very subtle effect, so you might try to get a little bit darker with your font and play around with it. You know, This is a really nice effect if you have blues or you have reds or greens or some other kind of off white or black color, but it works just as well with black and, and, and white colors here. All right, the other thing, and a lot of people might say, well, you know, how come home is all capital letters and then the other ones are lowercase? Well, if you wanna change how those are perceived uh, or how they're displayed, just come to your site menu here and I clicked up here uh, on, next to the Wix icon, I went to manage pages. And from here, I can actually rename each of those pages. And when I change the name, Lo and behold, it changes the menu as well. Oops, sorry about that. Contact us. And then we're going to say, let's just call that shop. All right, so now we have a menu with capital letters. And this actually looks pretty neat. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with this so far. Um, Make sure after you complete your customization to go ahead and preview the site. And of course, don't forget to publish. So that's a very basic design style. And you know, if there's other things you can do to this, uh, if you wanna get a little bit fancy, you can go and add some shadows, you can change the spacing. Um, we can change, again, as we saw all the font sizes you can actually add some corners, and that's important if you have a border around it, um, around your drop downs. Uh, we don't have any drop downs on this website, so you don't have to worry about that feature right now. Uh, we got some hovering, and we, we explored that. You have some options up here as well, some preset designs, uh, but when you click on these, you'll lose a lot of the work that you've done already, so you'll have to recreate them. So I advise just stick with one and move forward with it. And really that's all there is to it. Uh, I know this was a very simple approach to doing it, but the same method can be used on any different menu style that you want. And just when you're getting started and you're trying to learn Wix, 
it's helpful to experiment and try different things, try to create. And what I like to do is try to recreate what I see in other websites uh, using the tools and features already built in Wix. And that'll teach you after a couple of times how to actually manipulate Wix to any direction or anything that you want so that you can achieve the effects you want and create an awesome website. Guys, I hope this was super helpful to you. Leave me a comment, like the video, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.